illustrating the properties of multiplication in relevant situations. Commutative property, distributive property or associative property. Multiplication is repeated addition. Factors are the numbers we multiply to get a result or an answer. The multiplicand and multiplier. Product is the answer in multiplication. The Rotary Club of Anne Les Couliot will donate three boxes of gadgets to grade three pupils of Sepang Bado Elementary School. Each box contains nine new tablets and six old tablets. How many tablets are there in all? Who will donate gadget? Rotary Club of Anne Les Couliot. What will the Rotary Club of Anne Les Couliot donate? Tablets, gadgets. How many boxes of gadget did the Rotary Club of Anne Les Couliot donate? Three boxes of gadgets. How many new tablets were donated? 3 times 9 equals 27 new tablets. How many tablets were donated in all? 3 times, parenthesis, 9 plus 6 close parenthesis equals 45 tablets. What we have on the left are different set of mathematical sentences which show different properties of multiplication. The properties of multiplication are rules that determine how multiplication works. Do you know how the properties of multiplication can help you? The properties can make your computation easier and faster. The commutative property of multiplication states that the multiplication of two numbers remains the same even if the order of numbers is changed. Changing the order of multiplication doesn't change the product. Example, let's multiply 7 by 4. 7 times 4 equals 28. Now on reversing the order of multiplication, we get 4 times 7 equals 28. The answer is the same even after changing the order of the numbers. Thus, the multiplication is commutative. Look at the example using a multiplication array. 3 rows of 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. Now on reversing the order of multiplication, we get 4 rows of 3. 4 times 3 equals 12. The answer is the same even after changing the order of the numbers. Thus, the multiplication is commutative. Example 2. 5 column in multiplicand. 4 rows in the multiplier. 5 times 4 equals 20. Now on reversing the order of multiplication, we get 4 times 5 equals 20. The answer is the same even after changing the order of the numbers. Thus, the multiplication is commutative. Let's try this word problem. Sarah bought three packs of buns. Each pack has four buns. Mila bought four packs of buns and each pack has three buns. Who bought more buns? Sarah bought three packs containing four buns each. Three times four equals twelve. While Mila bought four packs containing three buns each. Four times three equals twelve. Both Sarah and Mila bought twelve buns. The answer is the same even after changing the order of the numbers. Thus, the multiplication is commutative.
Fill in the missing numbers using the commutative property of multiplication. 84 times blank equals 77 times 84. And 118 times 36 equals blank time 118. The commutative property of multiplication states that the multiplication of two numbers remains the same even if the order of numbers is changed. Changing the order of multiplication doesn't change the product. The missing number are 77 and 36. Distributive property of multiplication states that multiplication can be distributed over addition, as well as, subtraction. This property helps us solve the questions with brackets. It also speeds up our mental calculations. According to the distributive property, multiplying the sum of two or more addends by a number will give the same result as multiplying each addend individually by the number and then adding the products together. And let's prove that with the following sets of example. Example 1. 2 times parenthesis 3 plus 1 close parenthesis. Let's solve for the product by adding first what inside the parenthesis. 3 plus 1 equals 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. The product of 2 times parenthesis 3 plus 1 close parenthesis is 8. Case 2. If we distribute multiplication over addition, the number 2 is spread across the two addends. To put it simply, we multiply each addend by 2, 2 times 3, plus 2 times 1. Get the product, equals 6 plus 2. And then the products can be added. 6 plus 2 equals 8. As in both cases, the answer we get is the same, hence, multiplication is distributive. Example 2. Case 1. 2 times parenthesis 3 minus 1 close parenthesis. We'll have to subtract the numbers in parenthesis first. 3 minus 1 equals 2 and then multiply the total by the number outside the parenthesis. 2 times 2 equals 4. Case 2. If we distribute multiplication over subtraction, the number 2 is spread across the parenthesis. To put it simply, we multiply each by 2, 2 times 3 minus 2 times 1 get the product equals 6 minus 2 and then the products can be subtract 6 minus 2 equals 4 as in both cases the answer we get is the same hence multiplication is distributive Associative property of multiplication states that if we want to multiply any three numbers together, the answer will always be the same regardless of the order in which we multiply the numbers. Example 1. Let us consider using three numbers, say 2, 3, and 4 and multiply them. We can group the numbers as 2 times parenthesis 3 times 4 close parenthesis equals parenthesis 2 times 3 close parenthesis times 4. Let's first solve the left hand side of the equation. First, let's do the multiplication inside the parenthesis 3 times 4 equals 12. Then 2 times 12 equals 24. Let's solve the right-hand side of the equation. First, let's do the multiplication inside the parenthesis. 2 times 3 equals 6. Then, 
6 times 4 equals 24. Left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Thus, the associative property of addition is implied in this equation. Find the missing numbers to complete each equation. Identify the property of multiplication shown in each equation. Use distributive property of multiplication to solve the following. Choose the letter of the correct answer and find the value of n to complete each property of multiplication. Choose the letter of the correct answer and find the value of n to complete each property of multiplication.